The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance, Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. The April issue of the Fisherman Magazine is out now on newsstands, and it's on its way to you subscribers. Toby Lipinski has a great article on a striped bass tagging study, and for you spring toggers is an excellent read, How Jigging for Tog Has Changed Black Fishing Forever. These are just a few of the great stories in the April issue of the Fisherman Magazine. The weather for the weekend is looking good for getting your boat ready for the season with warmer temperatures and Fred Schaal's marine supply of Freeport is holding their open house sale just in time. Best pricing of the season this Saturday and Sunday. With April 1st and the openings of flounder and blackfish seasons fast approaching, it's striped bass that's finding its way into this week's report. From the Hudson River, Raul Ortez, the urban angler, was fishing with his son Jace this past weekend. They had a great afternoon catching and releasing schoolie bass. It's so great to see young kids like this getting involved in the sport. Then yesterday, Grandpa Bill from the Squad 914 Fishing caught this 29-inch bass on a blood worm. He took a nice picture, then promptly released it back into the river. More surprising is the talk of a few early arriving blues on the west end of the South Shore in Staten Island. A number of tackle shops around the island are already expanding their hours and stocking up on baits and chum in anticipation of flounder and the tog opening. Stripe bass season on the Hudson River north of the Mario Cuomo Bridge will be April 1st, while the Marine District is set to open on April 15th. A handful of open boats will be targeting flounder and blackfish and cod over the next couple of weeks, but a majority will be kicking off their schedules the mid part of the month, while others are holding off until May 1st, the opening of porgy and fluke season. The Viking fleet reported last weekend's Nantucket wreck trip had to be canceled due to the weather, but they will try again this weekend, and there are some spots remaining. The trip departs Montauk. This Friday at 9 p.m. and returns on Sunday at 1 a.m. The fare is $325 and there will be a full galley to purchase hot food and beverages. Book your spot online at thevikingfleet.com or call the office at 631-668-5700. The Laura Lee Express announced that the boat will be sailing special tilefish and offshore wreck trips for cod and other species this month. These trips are limited, so reservations are required. The next available trips are April 6th and the 12th for a long-range cod trip, and then April 13th for tilefish. See their website for the full schedule. Over in Freeport, the Captain Lou and the Nautical Mile in Freeport is also targeting the offshore waters this month. They will have a long-range tile trip scheduled to depart this Friday, March 29th, and also on Friday, April 5th. There is a 25-person limit on the tilefish trips, and reservations are required. Call 516-623-5823 to reserve a spot. Out east, East End Bait and Tackle in Hampton Bay said there have been some holdover schoolie bass in the back bays of the Peconics taking rubber baits. Ospreys, allwives, and spearing have showed up, so the intro waters are starting to come to life. Mike at Saltwater's Worldwide Outfitters in West Iceland reported that white perch are being caught in the Carmen's River behind Taco Bell in West Babylon and the tidal Connectquat Creek on tiny jigs tipped with small pieces of worm or shrimp. Some small bass have been reported from the local tidal creeks as well. Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Sheepshead Bay said small bass and blues are being reported from the Raritan Bay and blues were also reported from Sandy Hook. Up on the North Shore, Island Bait and Tackle in City Island has also been hearing of some good catch and release bass action in the Hudson River on the north side of the Tappan Sea Bridge. This week's surf report with Fred Galifaro is brought to you by Orca Coolers, available at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. What's the good word, Fred? Hey, thanks, Tim. And yeah, you know, we had this little cold snap here for the last couple of days. But prior to that, we were starting to hear some news with uh, school stripers caught in a number of places like Staten Island, uh, Little Neck Bay, definitely confirmed catches there, uh, Jamaica Bay, some of the back bays uh, on the west end of the South Shore, uh, Great South Bay and Peconic Bay, some of the tidal creeks draining into those bays. So things are starting to happen. Uh, we even had some very early bluefish reports. Uh, we heard of some a couple of blues. These are small fish. But we heard of them along the South Shore, a couple along the South Shore beaches. One guy just testing out a rod. There were birds working, and he ended up catching two small bluefish. 
uh, and they've been on Staten Island this past week. They're off Sandy Hook. So uh, it's a precursor to things to come, uh, just vanguards of the, of the bigger schools of fish. But uh, one thing to keep in mind is the past few years, the spring has been your best blue fishing. So if you're looking to get into some bluefish action, I'd be prepared to do it, uh, especially during the month of May, because after that, we've had a tough time finding them. They've pretty much disappeared from that point on. Hopefully this year is going to be different. We get a good run in the fall and maybe some good summertime action. Montauk has had some decent shots of blues during the summer months, but that's pretty much been it around the island. The uh, <laughs> April is, uh, is a really good time to start poking around your uh, tidal creeks. Um, I know along the south shore here and, uh, and in Peconic Bay, a lot of these creeks, they not only hold school bass and small stripers, but uh, sometimes you'll catch fluke off the docks. But uh, more important, uh, you'd be surprised at some of the weak fish that are up in these creeks early in the season. And some years it's small fish, but some years you get those big tide runners, especially early in the season, the end of April, beginning of May. I've caught weak fish up to 13, almost 14 pounds off docks on some of these tidal creeks. So the potential is there. As everybody knows, they're very, very frustrating, very unpredictable. Uh, you know, one year you catch them pretty good, you think the next year is going to be even better and, and you can't find them. But uh, just keep in mind they're always there. You keep your tackle light, you know, 8-pound test uh, braid, 10-pound test the most. A little six foot, six and a half foot light action rod and quarter to half ounce uh, jigs or uh, jig heads with soft plastics. And uh, it's something to do until the season really gets cooking. Uh, Shinnecock Canal, another place to really keep in mind, especially uh, the latter part of April and going into May. Uh, a whole smorgasbord of species that come through. They're headed into Peconic Bay this time of the year. Fluke are always through there early. You'll get porgies. Uh, sea bass. Uh, of course, you get some stripers coming through, especially at night. You have uh, bluefish coming through, and when they do come through, it's usually in waves heading into Peconic Bay for that spring run. And, uh, and of course, sea robins. And don't poo-poo sea robins. If you're a fisherman subscriber, you're looking to get on the uh, dreamboat board, sea robins are a great way to do it. We added them last year, and uh, that time of the year, you get some really big sea robins coming through the canal into Peconic Bay, so keep that in your mind. Um, uh, <clears throat> meeting note, uh, Liv is having their annual meeting. Uh, that's Sunday at 1 p.m. at the Hibernian Hall, 27 Locust Avenue in Babylon. Uh, there's also a Liver-sponsored beach cleanup. Uh, volunteers are going to meet at Robert Moses Field 2. That's on Saturday, April 6th, and it kicks off around 8 a.m. Until next week, this is Fred Golafaro here for thefisherman.com. We have a freshwater report from our correspondent, Aaron Diaversa. He scored with brown trout in Twin Ponds, Wontaw. He used gulp minnows to entice his catch. Nice job, Aaron. If you need a refresher course on early season flounder fishing, check out this video on YouTube. The link is in the card above and also in the video's description. Upcoming events, March 30th through the 31st, Fred Shal Marine has an open house in Freeport. April 5th through the 7th is the Long Island Boat Show at the Nassau Coliseum. April 6th is the Marine Mate Open House in Lindenhurst. And then finishing it up, April 7th in Patchog, it's the Fishing Flea Market at St. Joseph's College. For links and more information, be sure to check out this video's description on YouTube. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we upload a new video on YouTube. This is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com.